Good morning. Today we're going to um, find the slope of a tangent line. Uh, actually, we're going to find where the slope of a tangent line equals zero of a function. We're going to do that by finding the slope of the tangent line by definition. And the function is f of x equals x cubed minus 3x. So we'll first make our the slope of the tangent line by definition is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So we'll set that up. And we'll say the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h cubed minus 3 times x plus h minus x cubed minus 3x all divided by h. So we'll expand uh, this binomial cubed here and we'll uh, distribute this negative 3 and distribute this negative sign. Might take a couple of steps to expand this uh, this cube uh, binomial, just to be clear. Um, so we have uh, x times x is x squared. x times h plus another x times h is plus 2xh. And h times h is, of course, oops, sorry, plus h squared. And that'll be times another x plus h, distributing the negative 3, we have negative 3x minus 3h. Distributing the negative 1, we have negative x cubed and a positive 3x, all divided by h. So I'll, now I'll expand this, the rest of the numerator, and simplify. So we have the limit as h goes to 0, uh, x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times h is plus an x squared h, 2xh times x is 2x squared h, 2xh uh, times h is 2xh squared, and then finally x, h squared times x is x squared um, sorry, is x times h squared, and h squared times h is, of course, h cubed. Let's go ahead and make some cancellations in the numerator. The step before, we can eliminate the 3x already. Excuse me. And then we have negative 3h minus x cubed all over h. So we can make some cancellations before we group. The x cubes go away. I think that's it. And then we're going to have the limit as h goes to 0. And I'm going to group like terms. x squared h plus 2x squared h is 3x squared h. So those are taken care of. Uh, 2xh squared plus an xh squared is another 3xh squared. Um, so now we go, there's just 1h cubed minus 3h, all divided by h. Now we can factor out an h from the numerator. So we have the limit as so h goes to 0. Um, no, no, 3. We can factor out an h. So we have 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared minus 3 divided by h. We make a cancel. Simplification. Canceling the h's. Now um, we can take the limit as h goes to 0. This term goes to 0, as well as h squared goes to 0. So we're left with 
3x squared minus 3. So now we want to find where, this is the slope of the tangent line, so now we want to find where does this equal 0. And I'm just going to make a little box here with blue where we're going to do that. And where we do, how we do that is we set 3x squared minus 3 equal to 0. Um, we can factor out a 3, leaving x squared minus 1 equals 0. Uh, 3 will never make it 0, so x squared minus 1 must equal 0. And we know that that will give us x equals plus or minus the square root of 1, which is x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. So the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line will equal 0, therefore implying that we'll have a horizontal tangent line on the graph of x cubed minus 3x at the, the x values x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. Uh, we took the, we found the slope of the tangent line by definition. Uh, normally, we wouldn't do this. This was uh, just for this example. And normally, we would do it much easier way. We'd do it by rules. But it's a good school to have skill.